Hey everybody, welcome to the second video of this 08 Toyota Prius rebuild. In our last video, we got the timing cover and chain off. The goal of this video is to get the head off, dismantle its peripherals so we can take it off to the machine shop. Let them do their magic before we put it back on. Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna tackle is our exhaust. Underneath the vehicle, there should be two 14 millimeter bolts, one on this side, and then come over, there's the other one. And then there's a bracket right there. We'll just pull off that one 14 millimeter to release it from that bracket. That should be it for the exhaust for now. You can get to that bracket bolt pretty easy from the wheel well. That's how I'm gonna tackle it. Next, we're gonna tackle our inverter. Normally, when the service plug is disconnected, there's no more voltage coming up front. It's no longer a live circuit. But if there's any kind of malfunction, we could be exposed to high voltage. To double check that everything's dead, we're gonna be using a voltmeter. We want volts DC, we want the red in the input, the black in the comm. Then we'll go back to the battery, the regular 12 volt battery, and just double check that this is working. Let's hop back there. So all we want to know is if this will tell us if there's a voltage present. So I'm hooked up to the 12 volt battery and you can see we have 12 volts. So we know our meter is working. Now we'll go back up front. Next we want to pull off our cover. 10 millimeter bolts plus a T30. Before I remove the cover, I'm going to throw on my high voltage gloves. These have a insulating glove to protect against high voltage plus a leather protecting glove. Throw this on. And this is just in case there's any voltage. And again, there shouldn't be, but just in case. I don't want to touch something I'm not supposed to if it's live. So it should pop up. There we go. All right, there's a few places we want to check voltage. Let me zoom you in a little closer. Hopefully you can see right here, there's a black and a red. That's the positive and negative coming straight from our battery. So we got volts DC. Go ahead, touch these together and we should have zero. And there we go, zero volts. So we're not getting anything coming off our battery. Next, we move this out of the way. You can see a little better. Right underneath this foam, there are two bolt heads. We wanna check those as well. Zero volts, good. Okay, we got one more place coming off the electric motor. Here in the back, there are three bolt heads that we can check. We wanna check a combination of all of them. So we'll go far end to middle, okay, zero. Far end to close end, all right, zero. And then close end to middle, still showing zero. And that's it. We are completely safe. We take our gloves off, touch anything we want. It's gonna lay the cover back over for now so we don't get a bunch of dust in it. You can disconnect our plug here. This green tab you push up like that, and then you just pinch like normal. Get a little screwdriver to pinch. Sometimes my fingers aren't strong enough. There we go. We have this top hose comes off. Give it a twist, there we go. And we have a bottom hose right under it. Yeah, that comes off. We have this sensor here that can be disconnected. So get a little pick to help me with this one. This sensor's giving me a little trouble, so I'm just gonna unbolt it. Two 10 millimeter bolts. All right. We wanna remove our two big back wires to just pinch and pull off. There we go, there's one. There's the other one. Next, we wanna remove this big one here. Let me move you around. We want the two 10 millimeter bolts on the outside. And we'll pull the cover back off and get those three connections on the inside. Plug should come out. There we go. Set that aside. We have these three plugs here. You just pinch and pull. Okay. And then we'll pop this out of its little grommet slot. Push that aside. Now there are three wires in the back. Let me zoom you in. We want to disconnect those three wires as well. Once those are disconnected, we have that bracket there, 10 millimeter. Just gonna put the cover back on to protect it. So these brackets, two up front, one in the back, they're actually 12 millimeter. We'll pull those. One more little coolant hose right here. It's like a little bleeder. Pop that off. Okay, I think we're getting close. Pull up, I think that's it. Sure, what it's stuck on. We got this cable right here in the front. Let's see if it's attached inside too. Yeah, it looks like it. Let me pull this back off. I'll show you real quick. 10 millimeter for our three bolts inside, and then two 10 millimeters for the outside. Okay, that should pop through. There we go. Okay, I think that's it. Get a good grip on it. Nice. That wasn't so bad. And what that did was give us access to these connectors over here and our hoses. So now we have this conglomerate of stuff. We'll move out of the way. 
Disconnect the connectors, a couple of ground straps. This connector in the back for the oxygen sensor, we're gonna pull that bracket as well, 10 mil. All right, looking good. Pull this off. There we go. Tuck this out of the way. So we'll get those two coolant hoses. Just using a screwdriver trying to break this hose loose. We might have to cut it and just get a new upper radiator hose. Might be the only way. That's what I did. <clears throat> I had to cut it. But no big deal. We'll just get a new hose. Okay, looks like there's actually two more coolant hoses. Use a little pick for the little one. There we go. I'm trying to get the medium one off. I don't want to cut that one if I can help it. Sometimes just using a little angled pick can get in there and help break it free. I'm gonna remove that little coolant temp sensor. Might help me get a little more room. It's a 19 millimeter. There we go. Just get that pick back in there. Got it. Okay. Then there's a heater core hose bracket. Pull that off, 10 millimeter. See what else we got on this side. I think that's it. Now our fuel line bracket, we'll pull our fuel line off next. The fuel line has a plastic cover. We just wanna pull that off. It should just come straight out. Looks like this, comes straight out. Now the line just has two sides that you pinch together and pull up. I like using a pair of pliers like this. We're gonna get our glasses and a rag, pinch our two sides, put our rag over it, collect any spray, and we'll pull up. Okay, that's it. We'll just wrap this. Collect any of that fuel that could dribble out. And that's it, easy peasy. You don't have to take that bracket off after all. Okay, I think that takes care of that side. All of this. I think we got stuff now in the front we could take off. Our intake manifold does not have to come off. We can leave that on. We have these electrical connectors here. Looks like to our throttle body. Pop those off. Again, just using the pick helps me. There we go. Screwdriver on this one. There we go. Got that connector. I don't think many of these have been off since it was out of the factory in 08. Some of them are on there just a little stiff. Okay, and then we have this little bracket on the side here it can come off of just to free this harness. There we go. So that's out of the way. We can leave these two hoses on. They're already disconnected. We have two coolant hoses here in the front. Using a long pair of pliers will help me out here. Hopefully get those to break free. And then this one in the front. There we go. We have our dipstick tube, that can come off 10 millimeter. We have our purge solenoid. We're just gonna take the hose off, the hose that goes towards the manifold. Just pop that off real quick. Everything else can stay. And we got this electrical connector for our knock sensor. That can come off. There we go. And then this whole harness bracket, we just disconnect it from the bracket. There, nice. I think, let me double check, I think that's it. This harness here, if you keep following it, it connects again to the manifold. So we'll just pop that off the connector, or the bracket, I mean. Okay, so I don't see anything else. We already got that side. We already got that side. Okay, on this side, let me show you real quick. This is one more thing. So right here is the connector to our oxygen sensor. We want to disconnect this harness from its little, little bracket right here. That'll free it from that hose. And I think that's it. I think all that's left is pulling our cam so we have access to our head bolts. Taking our head bolts out and the head should come right out. As long as we didn't miss anything. We'll pull our big cap off first, 12 millimeter. We wanna put all this on a nice, clean, organized surface. Just tap that real quick. There we go. Now the rest are 10 millimeter. We'll start in the middle and walk it off going to the outside. Now these should be marked, this is I2 for intake number two. The big cap is number one, so that can help. But we do need to put them in the exact same order, facing the exact same direction. Same thing with the exhaust. So the head bolts are a number 10 triple square. Looks kind of like a Torx with a couple extra splines on it. Now mine was a little too fat here, so I had to grind down, make a little smaller shaft. But they do make longer ones, I just didn't have it. But this should work. We're gonna start in the middle. Okay, now we can pull them out all the way. I wanna get all the little washers too, so we don't lose them. The new head bolts did not come with new washers, so we wanna make sure we got all of them. All right, here we go. Let's see if I got the muscles for it. I think it's just the dowels in the front are holding it a little. There we go. OK. 
Okay, I'm stuck on something in the front here. Oh, it's just this little connector here in the front. Let's we'll get that with a little pair of pliers, push it through. There we go. Just for the knock sensor connector. Up. Oh, come on. Almost got you, buddy. There we go. Nice. Cute little cylinders. Hey, nice work. Now let's go dismantle the head. So I'm gonna throw the cams back in. The machine shop needs them anyway. Let's see, set this timing right. I'm just doing this to keep the lifters in. Cause I'm gonna tip this whole thing upside down and work on it upside down. I think that'd be the easier way to go. Let's take our fuel rail off first. Cause I know this right here is gonna get in our way. So 10 millimeter over here. And then in the front we have two 12 millimeters. We should be able to just wiggle that out. There we go. Nice. Let's leave that set aside for now. We got little plastic spacers we'll take out. And I think that's it. So now let's tip this upside down. There, that sits a little more flat. We could pull off our intake. These are gonna be 12 millimeter. All right, nothing to it. I think you could take this off while the head's still on, but either way. Okay, swing this around. And then everything over here, we'll pull our coolant sensor back off. I just put it on so I wouldn't misplace it. Set that there. All these little 10 mils can come off. Cam position sensor. And then pull this off up here, 10 mil. Perfect. Uh, that takes care of this side. So now we just have our exhaust left. So we'll flip this back over and dangle the exhaust off the side. We also have this ground strap we can remove. Big bolt there, the 14 mil. We move you so you can see the exhaust. So 10 mil for the heat shield. And then 12 mil for our main bolt. We'll start in the middle and work our way out. Crack these with a ratchet. Nice. Well, that's it. This is off to the machine shop. All right, we got the head off, big win. So it'll be sent to the machine shop. The timing cover, intake manifold, valve cover, that's all sent to the machine shop. They'll put it through their parts washer and make it look new once again. So far, no special tools. This has been uh, pretty breezy, which is nice. So in our next video, we're gonna go ahead and tackle the bottom end. Pull the oil pan off and get all that. Our connecting rod bearings, we'll pull the caps off and we'll push the pistons out from underneath. That'll be in our next video. Well, thanks for watching. Comment questions down below. See you on the next one.